Wolf Tick Nation. Thank you guys for tuning into another Wolf Tick Videos episode. On today's episode, we've got some pretty good mail time sitting over there. We're going to open it up for you guys. You don't know how good our mail time is. It's good mail time. Everybody's favorite hey, segment. Hey, how hey. can it not be good? You don't know. <laughs> You don't know. And we're going to get that out of the way. And we are going to take our newly installed X-Tech Zoom HB100 cable actuated hydraulic brakes. We're going to take it down to Hayes Creek Run. Yeah. Black Diamond. Downhill. Mount Nebo. It's, da da it's a downhill. Everything is completely stock on this bike. Um, except for those X-Tech calipers. Except for the calipers. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And then after we get done at the Hayes Creek Run, we're going to bring you right back to the shop. We're going to talk about these brakes a little bit. We have to bring them all the way back. Yeah, you guys are going to come all the way back to our shop and we're going to talk about it. How about a little bit of mail yeah, time? Man. Are we doing that right now? Mail time. Beep, beep, beep. First piece of mail. This is from Cousin oh, Carrie. Cousin Carrie? Yeah. Cousin Carrie. Yeah. You need a knife? Oh, I got a smell. knife. Well, it smells good in there. Hey, some beard oil. Hey. Simple man. I can use that. Quality male grooming products. Look at that. Hey, you know what? They're Carrie. Yeah, this is some body oil. Holy crap! There's a oh whole my. bunch of it in here, dude. Don't spill that, dude. That smells delicious, right there. It's body oil. Summertime when I go to ride the speedos with the speedos <laughs> on the mallets. <laughs> no speedos. Body oils coming. Nobody with wants to see you in speedos. What is that? Cool, I'm man. Tempted to put some beard oil in my beard. Mmm. Bars of soap, beard oil, body oil, shampoo. He's putting some beard oil on. Well, I don't really have a brush, so. Mm -hmm. It's glistening. It's glistening. Cousin Kerry, you got his yeah. beard glistening. It's glistening. Now, I know what this is. Actually, that was t that was actually real drunken eBay. This was right. drunken eBay. Right at $27 for this bar. Uh, It was too much. Yeah, something like that. I Core believe. bar. Look Doesn't at that thing. Doesn't it look thing. like a 760? Yeah, it does look do like you, a do 760. Your thing. Do Dude, your thing. that thing see is sweet, man. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, it totally works. Yeah, yeah, totally works. Oh buddy, we got a DVD. Someone sent that to us. Oh, somebody sent this. Yeah, to us? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. First time. Come on, come on. Here we go. What is it? What is it? Disc golf. <laughs> Oh my god, is it disc, disc golf? golf fundamentals. Oh my god, that's great. I want I want we're gonna hey we're gonna end up playing disc golf. You watch. Oh my god. Let me see that. I'm I know I know I'm supposed to be like, oh my god, it's hilarious, but I'm really excited about it because I'm damn like, guy. I mean damn. <laughs> this right here, my coupon cutter. Jesus. I don't know if people will notice what these are. We got two of them. Now, these here are actually for a GoPro 6, 7, or an 8 black. I think so. uh, these here are the front glass elements. Apparently, is it if, just the uh, black models or is it the others too? I think it's the other ones too. Apparently, if you hit these <laughs> some hard enough, they will fly off your GoPro. <laughs> What is this? I don't know. This is from a. This is from one of the Wolf Tape Nation right here. Is it? I'm excited. I'm excited. What do we got? Um, pedals. Pe oh, pedals. Dude, oh, pedals. It? Zuzu pedals. Uh, Does anyone know what Zuzu pedals is from? Pedal Extreme. Uh oh, I'm excited. Ooh, oh, dude. Man. Oh my God. Dude. We just got the Axum. Oh. That'd be perfect for the Oh axum. my god, these are going on the Axum. Really nice pedals, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Damn. Uh, I think these were sent by, uh, the, the, pretty sure this is sent by Colin Bourne. Is that who sent them? Colin Bourne? Yeah. Colin, thank you so yes. much for the pedals, man. These man. are bad. Going on the Axum. They got to be what, after what? the real time review. Yeah, what is that? What's, a de what's the brand on them? They're called Pedal Extreme. Right, next piece of mail? Next piece of mail. I'm saving that one in there for Watch me. your drinks on. I see my drink. I'm saving that one in there for main event. All right, so it looks like this package here is from, from our, our friends, buddies. Our buddies. Buddies. Me. Go ahead. Either one. Goat Head over at Geo Handguards. So they sent us this package. 
And they've been showing us a bunch of love. Another Ooh, shipment. Look at that. It's stickers. A whole bunch of stickers. Look at these stickers. Stickers. Some of my favorite stickers. Whenever you guys uh, order a pair of hand guards, they come with two strips of a whole bunch of these things. Awesome. I mean, any color you need to match your bike, Geo's yeah. got you covered. They've got you covered. Now, I mean, quality company comes up with quality awesome. stuff. Look I'm at telling the, you. I mean, look at that. Everything about their everything about their stuff is quality. Hey, yeah, I'm, quality. I'm, I'm, I'm having to get one right now. It looks really good, man. You look Dude. at that one. I am. The, the quality of everything is so nice. Now, the Geo Handguards, in case you guys aren't uh, familiar with this, we'll put a link down in the description to their website. Geo Handguards, uh, it's a, a helmet for your hands, basically. What it is, is it's a wraparound that goes from the end of your bar, and it comes with all of the mounts in here. One to put one on the end of your bar, and uh, one to put on the inside. And basically, it wraps around all of your controls, wraps around your hand. We have them on the Mongoose Malice over there. Basically, it just, in the case of an accident, helps protect your hands and it helps protect all of your controls levers and all that you yeah. know as much as it can go we've definitely put the little basher guards you know with the max on the uh, malice we put those to the test hitting oh, yeah. trees you're hitting all kinds of it's stuff complete it. bashery geo hand guards protected my hands and all the controls on there so couldn't really ask for more uh, our buddies down at geo thank you guys for sending us another package of geo hand guards yes, um, who knows we might be doing some uh secret or not secret some giveaways here in the near future but wait there's more Oh, but they said that they want to see if we can damage it or break it. That's oh, what it was. Oh, is yeah. that what it is? They said on one of the videos. I don't know. It seems pretty tough. Ow. It works, Ow, stop. Real, it works really good if your kid's annoying the <laughs> out of you. Our boy? Our boy, Carson Brooks. Now, Carson let me tell you, Brooks. He is the sort of the unofficial ambassador for the Wolf Tick videos. Wow. And apparently he sends us mail. That's yeah. fragile. That's yeah. got fragile all, right. all over. All right. What can it be? Let's see. Carson Brooks. I'm excited. What'd you get us? Oh, I love it. You can tell he is a in school because he wrapped it with uh, notebook paper. <laughs> that's awesome. Notebook paper here, Carson. Awesome. Hopefully there's a note too. Wait. That's the that's the prettiest damn Ziploc bag that I've ever is, seen. That's IKEA Ziploc. Look at that Ziploc bag. That's pretty. Oh my god. Oh, are those brake lever silicone covers? Oh, is that what that is? I think that's what that is, Carson. All right, I'm going to look in here. Why don't you start opening that? I'm just going to make sure there's... Read. Oh, read. Okay. Two right. Wolf Tick videos. Hey, Wolf and Tick. Hope you like these beer glasses. How old is this kid? Uh, 14. Beer glasses from my local shop. I, I got to see now. I got to open up some Couldn't stuff. wait till you guys came up. Can't wait till you guys oh, come up and ride. The new $1.5 million bike park is partly open, and it is so much fun. Carson Brooks, CB Outdoors. Been with us that for a long awesome, time. That is awesome, man. Carson, thank you so much. Dude. Yeah, we're supposed to go ride with uh, Carson. Dude, that oh, is cool that as is as hell, awesome. man. Look at that. We were supposed to go ride with it's Carson. Like a, it's like a glass can. We're supposed to go ride with Carson this summer. Uh, we we'll go show him some love and uh, hit some good trail riding with him. Yeah, he's going to show us around up there. Yeah, and Carson has got the uh, GT Aggressor Pro. You guys have seen it whenever we've hey. done our viewers' rides. Target. Target. River Bluff Brewing. Got a little sniffer glass there. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, bud, we'll definitely be hitting up the bike park in Missouri this summer. We're going to have to uh, go up there. We might do a little video on it as well. But, Carson? Oh, I'm sure we'll be doing some videos. Yeah. Stuff. Man, thank you so much. Um, Geo Handguards, make sure you guys go down in the description below and check out their website if you'd like to. Also, we'll put a link to Carson's uh, little YouTube channel. We'll put a link to his channel in the description as well. But very cool mail time. Appreciate all the love out there, guys. Now, Feel let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how these H-Tech or E-Tech, X-Tech brakes, the Zoom act cable actuated on the budget boundary. There we go. <laughs> um, I hope everything's tied on the bike. I kind of did the ones over. Um, everything is stock but the brakes guys um, even the tires I'm hoping they track well but I'm not gonna go crazy but we're gonna see how these things do you know see how these brakes do uh, they haven't been broken in yet it's the first ride on them but uh, Hayes Creek Run Black Diamond X-Tech brakes oh here we go <laughs> alright first turn here gets a little slippery underneath me I'm gonna have to remember Oh, hang on, hang on. 
Oh, I think my camera angle is hitting that spoke a little bit. You'd be amazed on the amount of time it takes to set cameras up. Hopefully they stay in, in place. Take two or three, wherever we're at now. We got a good little uh, switch back up here. Let's see how they do going into it. Hey, they're catching pretty good. Now remember, these are stock rotors. Everything's stock, plus the brakes. $38, I'm getting some chain slap. Ain't used to chain slap on this trail. <laughs> Um, $38, had to get them. Uh, I love that you can just adjust them with your um, oh, barrel adjusters. That's really nice. There are definitely no uh, one finger brakes. They're hardly two finger. Now, as far as the feel, they do not feel like hydraulic brakes do. You're gonna lock your wheels up with hydraulic brakes. You can feel that strength immediately and you can feel the whole, all that hydraulic brake fluid building up and you can feel it locking down. Now on these, you do have some give, just like you normally do with uh, cable actuated brakes, uh, the mechanical style without the hydraulic fluid, you have that feeling where you pull it and you're like, okay, it's, it's locking down, but there's still some movement. Let me go ahead and squeeze it even harder and then when you start squeezing it harder, it, uh, it kind of gives a little bit and then you can feel it catch. That's the same thing I've got going on right now with these. It almost feels like a little bit upgraded of a cable brake. I mean, I can lock down the wheels pretty good or lock down the rotors, rattle trap. Uh, I can lock them down pretty good with these, but I have to squeeze a lot. So kind of mid pull area, it doesn't feel the strongest like you think they would. I would have hit that, but not on this bike. There's a fun little cable top, right? Just some little inks here. Golly, this boundary is so much fun. <laughs> I love this bike, budget boundary. Definitely with some budget brakes on it. Now, one thing I can tell you right now is my forearms don't ever get tired when I'm going down this trail, right? Like they don't get wore out. And right now, they're getting really wore out. I went ahead and uh, adjusted the brake levers to where I want them, where I normally have them. So I know it's not that. There are no hydraulic brakes. I've never ridden this trail without a bike with the MT200s, the Zooms, the MT420s. have not ridden this trail without those before. And now I can feel that in the braking department. I'm having to squeeze down so much harder like this. But I mean, the important thing and the good thing is I'm stopping. Not terrible, man, for 40 bucks. I mean, I would say just a step above. Uh, walk up that back wheel the whole time. Step up above hydraulic or of mechanical brakes. All right, let's take a look and see if everything's still together. All right, definitely wearing these rotors out a little bit, huh? They feel okay, they feel just as strong down here. The front might have a little bit more movement in it now because I use that one more. And the rear feels right about the same. It actually feels like it's clamping down on something now. Um, earlier it felt like it was a little bit of uh, it felt a little bit squishy almost. Not in a bad way, but squishy like uh, the pad just wasn't making complete really good gritty contact like there was something missing. But I think that has to do with just breaking it up. Right, so what'd you think? Well, um, I think a lot of things. One is they weren't broke in first, so I don't know if we should say that they were good or not. I mean, this is kind of hard to say anything. So, this is my question. Do you think these, how much harder was it to use these going down Hayes Creek than it would be, say, some, say the Zoom hydraulic brakes? Because those ones aren't the easiest to use either. Well, I'll tell you what, the Zoom hydraulic brakes were pretty good for the money. And we had them on the 29er, just like the boundary. They still do. Pretty good, yes. Yeah, so they're still on the, on the uh, TAF over there, Project Humpty Dumpty. Now, I would say that the zooms, my forearms and hands didn't get wore out when I was using the zooms. Fully hydraulic brakes, right? Very budget. My hands and forearms got wore out on that trail riding this bike. Were you one finger braking? Hell no. I was four finger braking. <laughs> you know? But, uh, I wasn't too impressed with the brakes. I think they did a good job for what they are. And people will go, well, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is you have a little piston of hydraulic fluid 
and a cable that actuates it. You know, and, the, and it's is it now is it driven by one side? I imagine. Yeah, just okay. one side is mm -hmm. the piston. One piston basically pushes okay. one of the. Um, it's not it's not, or not on either side. side. Just one side. Yeah, just one side. Give me a, give me. I know you're not a big numbers guy. Give me a percentage better. A percentage better than mechanical brakes. The stock mechanical yeah. brakes. Yeah, I'm gonna go um, thirty percent. They're thirty percent better. Yeah, and I think that's enough to make some people go, man, for thirty percent more. You know, I have heard of a couple of guys here recently commenting and saying that they've got um, different pads for them, mm -hmm. and that's a really good combo. That might be something that we're interested in trying in the future. Well, I, I'm talking about you trying know. some different rotors. Yeah, different too. rotors, different I think pads. We, if we can, if we can space it, I would love to do a um, maybe a two hundred three front and a one eighty rear. How much difference is the feel with these versus the Hydraulic stock? No, the stock, stock brakes. Um, well, these ones stick a little bit better so as soon as you go to pull you pretty much hit a wall there's a little bit past that wall that you can go as far as the squeeze goes and I was trying to relay that like on the trails with hydraulic brakes you hit that wall and there's I mean not very much movement after that you're gonna hit that wall you're gonna lock it up okay. these right here I can definitely lock the back wheel up I don't think I can lock the front wheel up. I know mm -hmm. I tried in the parking lot. I can't do a stoppy with these okay, things. They're well, not that strong. Yeah. Um, but the cable ones, uh, you know, the stock ones that they came with, I can squeeze them suckers and it feels like I'm going to pull that cable apart, which probably wouldn't happen. I'll probably just strip it on the caliper. But these ones here definitely feel a little bit stronger than that. Then the hydraulic ones are just so much above them, you know. So mm -hmm. that's why I gave it the 30% over stock. I think it's a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, maybe with some different pads, like you're saying, some different mm -hmm. rotors. Mm -hmm. That might be something a little bit better. Okay. But uh, anyway, guys, well, we appreciate you watching Wolf Dick videos as always. If you guys would like to uh, help support our channel, you can go down to the links below, and there's a uh, Buy Us a Cup of Coffee link now. You can go down there and uh, help now? support. Been for a little bit. Just letting everybody know. Oh. Now, uh, there is a uh, Buy Us a Cup of Coffee link. You guys can help support our channel and create content. And uh, also, there's some affiliate help us links to create down content. there. Yep. All right, guys, we appreciate you watching Wolf Dick videos. We will see you guys on the next one. Yeah. Yeah.